Hi, Holly. Hi, Justine. Hi, hey, Ashlyn. Ashlyn. You look lovely, Ashlyn. Are you here to finish up your princessology assignment to know your heritage? Oh no, I'm done. Hunter's taking me ice skating. In fact, I'm just here to drop off my library book because it's on the way. What are you still doing here? I thought you were done too. I was, but then I got so engrossed in reading all these different versions of my fairy tale in all these different Grimm's fairy tale compilations. Who knew there were so many ways to tell the story of Rapunzel? Wait, Holly, what do you mean there are different versions of your fairy tale? Well, in most versions of my fairy tale, Rapunzel's mother just badly wants to eat a head of lettuce from her neighbor's garden, and she makes her husband steal it. When the witch catches him, she forces him to give up their unborn daughter in exchange for giving his wife the lettuce. In another version, there's a childless couple who badly desire a baby, and the witch is the one who causes them to become pregnant in exchange for giving up the child several years later. And they agree. There are other different versions too, and reading them all is just so interesting. So are there multiple versions of my fairy tale? Oh, definitely. My favorite is on that shelf over there. Huh, I think I'll go check it out. Oh, this must be it. Hmm, cover looks interesting. I like the way they've drawn Cinderella's shoes. Wow. Hey, Ashlyn. What's going on, honey? I thought you were just gonna come and return a book. Oh, Hunter, I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm just, I'm so upset right now. Uh, Ash? What's going on? Is everything okay? No, no, Hunter. I, I found this other version of Cinderella that Holly told me about and, it, and it's just, I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe it. Do you wanna talk to me about it? Hunter, I'm so sorry. If you don't mind, could we just skip ice skating today? I really need to go talk to my mom. Could you just walk me back to the dorm room? Uh, sure thing. Bye guys, see you later. Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal, and I am very proud of myself for having made the great library at Ever After High for my daughter's Ever After High dolls. So let's talk a little bit about what I did. Consider this the lazy mom's guide to making a great library at Ever After High. By the way, this is the picture that uh, was the source of my inspiration. And so I started with this honey colored shelf that is pretty tall and deep. Now I'm cheating here. I had a special wallpaper printed at Spoonflower that um, is like a bookshelf. And then I also had a special gift wrap paper printed at Zazzle.com that I bought. Now, neither of these sites have paid me to advertise for them. I'm um, not that big of a site. I'm not that big of a channel, but here I'm showing you what things look like once you have attached them to your walls and to your floor. I purposely left a hole there because I want the window to go there. Using a wood grain duct tape, I did finish off the um, ugly space between the bottom of the bookshelf paper and the floor. The window is going to be this piece of scrapbook paper. And I also added a little beanstalk decal to make it look like there's a beanstalk just outside the library window. I'm going to make some trees for this library, the way that there are trees in the Ever After High library. So I cut up some of the insides of um, gift wrap tubes and I um, wrapped my wood grain duct tape around them. Then I cut, well I drew some tree branches by using uh, this uh, tree cut out from the La Di Da doll garden party tea set. Um, and then I covered them all with the same wood grain duct tape. This took me forever. And I'm a lazy mom, so I was not happy that I could not figure out a better way to do this. Um, and then I cut some leaves out of three colors of green felt. And then I hot glued the leaves to certain parts of the branches. To give the trees a 3D feeling, I hot glued the branches to each of the tree trunks. And then I hot glued the tree trunks 
to the walls to kind of give it that Ever After High library feeling. These are some square dowel rods that I sawed um, into um, certain lengths because I'm gonna be using them for the window. And I also painted them with gold paint pens. So here I'm just hot gluing each of these rods across the window. So it looks like, I guess, those um, part of the frame. And here I've hot glued two dowel rods down the middle for the vertical part of the frame. And now I've added the two remaining trees that I created to either side of the window to frame that window. Now a library has to have books, even though I have pretend book uh, shelf wallpaper, I still need to make some books. So I bought this digital template from Etsy. Now this digital template is free. It's from a site called Small Stuffs, I think. And I just printed that out. This was my first attempt at making a book. I used cardboard. It looks absolutely awful, as you can see. Then I started cutting out um, pieces of cardstock in the middle to go as if it was like the pages of a book. So this was my second attempt. Attempt. This is a little bit better, but it's so work intensive. And once again, I'm lazy. So I finally found a new and better way, which was to first hot glue some, not hot glue, but glue some cardstock on each page and then add foam board in between. And so I made this pretty huge pile of um, books, if you can see that. Again, being the lazy mom that I am, I then decided just to buy people's pre-made dollhouse books from eBay. So, taking a jewelry box that was pink, I took the same wood grain duct tape and I basically covered the whole thing with it so that it would go with the rest of my library. And I have now hot glued it to one side of the um, library. And now I've added books, so ta-da! That's what I'm talking about. Pre-made stuff that you can pay someone else to spend their time to do. <laughs> okay, so as a reminder, this is where we are now. And obviously the dolls need a place to sit. So this is actually a 16 inch long, um, it's supposed to be one of those signs that you kind of carve your family name into, I think. Let's see, what is this thing called? Oh yeah, there it is. It's a wide name sign. So then I painted this brown and I mod podged it to give it that gleaming table look. Then I took four doll pins and this two foot long, um, I don't know what this is, it's like a piece of plywood I found at the craft store. And then I painted everything brown. No need to mod podge these because they will barely be seen. Using hot glue, I attached the plywood and the doll pins to the underside of the table and now the, there's a table for the dolls to work at. And um, to make benches, I took some foam board, covered it with the wood grain duct tape, as you can see, and I did this twice. So the first um, bench, I kind of cut out these three pieces of foam board and added wood grain duct tape. And um, that's how the first one came out, kind of like a long trestle bench. The second one I decided to have the bottom be kind of like another bookshelf and so I really like how that came out. Finally, I have this awesome lamp I bought a long time ago. It's a dollhouse lamp and it has a working LED light in it. So I'm purposely filming without the flash on so you can see. And I really like how this turned out. I hope you guys like it too. I need to do a couple shout outs. First of all to Christian Yanez. Thanks for being patient. And secondly, to Cake Pop A, who didn't see the first shout out I did for them. All right, well, I hope you'll let me know what you think of my Ever After High library. And it would be really awesome if you could give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.